cruisers, it's Sherry from Cruise Tips TV. Welcome to our video tour of the refurbished Carnival Imagination. One of the most exciting refurbishments on the Carnival Imagination was the introduction of Carnival Waterworks. Here you'll find slides, one of them 300 feet long, jets, and oodles of sprinklers for hours of fun in the sun. Also, as part of the refurb, the pool area was completely transformed. Now, artificial palm trees and thatched awnings surround the yellow and blue decor. There's also a stage for live music and an area for dancing. The adults-only serenity area on the Imagination is smaller than those found on larger ships, but still provides a relaxing sanctuary here on the back of the ship. The nine-hole mini golf course and jogging track at the top of the ship give you a 360-degree view of the sea. This is the Nautica Fitness Center. Located on Sports Deck 12, it gets pretty busy during sea days. The facility is quite large at about 12,000 square feet, with a variety of state-of-the-art machines including treadmills, steppers, circuit training, weight machines, and free weights. There's also a group fitness room. Nice views are plentiful as most machines face the windows. The upgrades of 2007 focused a lot of attention on the spa area with more elegance and amenities. And you can see that attention has paid off. The Carnival Imagination offers two main dining rooms, the Pride, Midship, and the Spirit, which can be found aft. Breakfast and lunch are open seating. The Imagination's Pride dining room is located on Atlantic Deck 8 near Midship and seats about 626 people. There's a kind of aluminum motif set off with deep red tones. As part of the refurbishment in 2007, all booths were removed and replaced with banquette style seats for more room. Here are some of the small tables for two, while the large round tables are located in the center areas. The Imagination Spirit Dining Room is located on Atlantic Deck 8 near the stern of the ship and is very similar to the Pride Dining Room in decor and layout. There's a lot of aluminum mixed reddish tones and wood accented with geometric shapes on the ceiling lined with colored lights. There are a variety of table sizes in both dining rooms, however the Spirit seats slightly more at about 636. The food is quite good and there's a good variety. Starters such as fried shrimp, tomatoes and buffalo mozzarella, soups and salads. And of course the standard chicken, seafood, beef, vegetarian and pasta entrees are also available. And for the diet conscious, low calorie spa entrees are also available and quite tasty. The service was pretty good and the wait staff performances are always entertaining. This is the popular Horizon Bar and Grill located on Lido Deck 10. Circular neonish aqua lights crisscross the ceiling and give the place a bit of an underwater feel. Make no mistake though, it's all about the food here. You've got the grand buffet stations, salad bar, round the clock ice cream, and a pizzeria. Horizon is the perfect place to grab a quick meal. For tasty, bite-sized samplings of some of the chef's favorite savory foods, don't miss the taste bar. Vittorio's is the coffee bar on board the ship. At the heart of the imagination, you'll enjoy the glitzy six-story atrium, flanked by glass-sided elevators. It's kind of a wacky, fun melding of classical artwork and fiber optic lighting. At night, this place really lights up and looks like an old-school arcade game. It's really quite striking. The Dream Bar is located on Promenade Deck 9 near Midship and close to the El Dorado Casino. Looking up, we see dark orbs with tiny lights mounted to the ceiling. There's a lot of black and gold here, including this awesome gold art behind the bar. There are also some nice panoramic views here, and it's a good spot to sit and enjoy the activity. This 
has a more updated feel than some of the public areas and yet still evokes a feeling of ancient Egypt and the pharaohs. Even the bar stools look like they'd be right at home next to a towering pyramid. The Illusions Dance Club is the ship's disco. The DJs here have great taste and play a mix of everything from top 40 to hip hop and disco. Here we have the Mirage Piano Bar located on Atlantic Deck 8 near Midship. This is a nice place for those wanting some less active entertainment to sit and enjoy piano music and a few drinks. As we take a look here at its cascading purple and yellow spheres and bright multicolored chairs, I can't help but think this place looks like a scene from Woody Allen's 1973 futuristic comedy Sleeper. The bar stools and tables share the same color combination and style. It's wacky. The Pinnacle Club attracts before and after dinner crowds looking to mingle with fellow guests here in a classy lounge setting. Here we have the Shangri-La Lounge located on Promenade Deck 9 near Midship. One of two lounges named after fantasy paradises. Shangri-La comes from the novel Lost Horizon by James Hilton. Hilton describes Shangri-La as a mystical harmonious valley. For us, while it does have a quirky appeal, the Shangri-La Lounge feels more like the set of a 1970s game show. There are crazy swirls and spirals on the walls, floor, and tables. At night, bright blue, yellow, and purple colored lights line the walls. I'm just waiting for Bob Eubanks to step out from behind the bar. When the sun goes down, the decor is certainly not the only crazy thing in Shangri-La. This place comes to life and pumps the disco, so bring your dancing shoes. This is the Xanadu Lounge, which is located on Promenade Deck 9, near the aft end of the ship, and seats about 541 people. There are good views of the stage from most seats here, although there are a few support beams that could be a bit of an obstruction. Still, it looks like a great place to try out your karaoke skills, listen to some lively music, or take in a late night adult comedy performance when the Xanadu is transformed into the punchliner. Located at the front of Promenade Deck 9, the two-level Dynasty Lounge seats about 1,300 people. Looking around, you can see the decor of the main theater does not deviate from the eclectic style of the rest of the ship. There's lots of gold and light wood contrasting the dark patterned upholstery. It's quite regal. This is a great place to take in the Broadway style productions, comedians, magicians, and passenger talent shows. The sofas are comfortable and most have terrific views of the stage with the occasional exception of a pole obstruction here and there. The acoustics are good as well, and the shows sound exceptional. The onboard casino comes to life at night and is a great gathering place for passengers looking to try their luck. The layout is open and easy to find, and features all sorts of slots and tables that buzz into the late night hours. The arcade on the ship is tucked in a tricky to find corner near the photo gallery. Once you find it, the kid in you will enjoy several video games and a place to redeem your winnings. To play the games here, you simply swipe your card. Prices range from about $1.20 to $1.25 per game. Your cruise card also tallies your points for prize redemption. That's it for this episode. If you like this tour, be sure to click on those like and subscribe buttons. 
and check us out on Twitter at CruiseTipsTV. TV.